He's extremely intelligent, he's bright. But I'd say probably the most thing is his perseverance, his ability to work so hard on things. Um, and he just never gets frustrated and he always wants to continue to try and he wants to succeed. Um, I just think he has a great disposition. A lot of people comment about just what a sweet boy he is. Um, he's just, he's not overly aggressive with anyone or regarding anything. He's just always such a, a, a happy-go-lucky um, kid. I think the impact has been huge, to be honest, um, both financially, emotionally. Um, it's added a lot of stress to our lives, obviously, because um, we're never sure exactly what approach to use. Most approaches that are would work for a lot of children, just they don't work for Reese, and we have to really come up with things that are out of the box. Some of the things that Hippie and um, Cart has done when they come into our house is um, they talk about maybe different approaches. So instead of dealing with, um, he may not be able to handle something because of sensory issues, um, instead we take the soil and we'll place it onto the page and um, Reese's part then is gluing and helping to spray it instead of to touch it. Hippie did come up with an idea where um, you take a uh, poster board and put a lot of things, maybe um, soft versus rough or smooth, and um, make it a visual thing that he can continue to go back to that board over and over again and run his hands on it. And um, over time, I do think he's starting to get it. We get to do a lot of different things, things maybe I haven't thought of, things outside of the box and um, you know, things that I think he would never go for somehow because it's homework and because it's hippie and because he's accountable to discuss it with Rhonda when she comes in for a visit. Um, Reese tries it and, and um, he can get past some of his sensory issues. Um, and working hard towards a common, um, a common interest, a common goal. Um, he loves some of the parachute play. He loves some of making canoes out of blankets. And um, my son loves reading. So any new books that come in this house, um, he's all about, he gets excited about. Um, the first time he jumped, um, obviously the first time he said Dada, um, he was two and a half, almost, almost three. Um, and we had worked really, really hard, and then he finally did it, and we got it on camera, and then we got to show it to his daddy, and it was, <laughs> it was really beautiful. He has a little sister now, and seeing him begin to reach out to her, not always just respond when he's responded to, um, but actually forming a bond himself and initiating that contact. There's a lot of things that we have to work very hard for for Reese and with Reese, and some things that uh, a lot of parents would probably take for granted that their kids just can do naturally. Uh, we have to work very hard for, and when he gets to that point where he does it, we, we you know just I think have a greater appreciation when he does just the simple things. Um, and it's just you know it's I don't know made us probably as a family a, a lot tighter and stronger as well. Card. It's a winning card! Yay! Good job. What do you say? Good game, Daddy. Good game, buddy. Very good.